Y'all, it looks like a rabbit exploded in our colony. This is crazy. Let me show you what we got going on. There are tufts. So there is brown fur, interesting enough. Brown fur and white fur, all in this one bucket. Somebody's put hay in this bucket. So with rabbits, as you can see, they pull out their own fur when they're about to have babies. Daddy beat the hay. Daddy fed them hay? Yeah. So when you see rabbit fur pulled out like that, it's actually a really, really good sign. That means that any time today, possibly tomorrow, we should expect rabbit babies. Now I am thrilled to see that much white fur in that bucket. Like that is crazy. On her first litter, Pretty Girl didn't pull like any fur. We had to manually pull fur for her, which kind of teaches her, hey, I'm supposed to do this. But it was her first litter and oftentimes rabbits are not very good moms on their first litters at all. She didn't pull fur. She didn't feed her babies. None of her babies survived past day two. Rosie Rosie, on the other hand, the brown one, I only seen like one or two clumps of fur in her and they're in the same burrow, five gallon bucket burrow. And rabbits will have babies in the same burrow or nest box and co-parent. So they'll, they'll each go and feed the babies and take care of them. It's pretty cool. I don't know if these girls are gonna do it. They did not do it on their first litter, but they also were having a first litter and they were very new at it. So we'll see how they do this time. Their first babies were born in a rabbit tractor. This will be our first set of babies born in our colony. So we're super excited about that to see how this all goes. But we are expecting rabbit babies. So I'm yay, I'm so excited. I'm <laughs> All right guys, well just like we suspected, they pulled fur yesterday. They had babies last night. So now we're gonna go in and we're going to get a good count on them. Kenneth peeked in, just make sure all the babies were wiggling last night. Uh, he didn't see very many babies in Nosy Rosie's bucket, but Pretty Girl, the white one, he says, had a pretty good amount from what he could tell, which is kind of odd because last time Nosy Rosie had nine babies and Pretty Girl only had five. We'll see what they do this time, but I'm excited to have babies again. So let's see how many new meat rabbits we have here on our homestead. Okay. Yakum, yakum. You gonna check these babies out? So this first bucket <laughs> should be Nosy Rosie's burrow. Uh, don't chase, don't chase. Oh wow, she pulled lots of hair. Oh yeah. Look at all that fur, and you can see it wiggling. Oh my goodness, girlfriend. Nosy Rosie last time pulled a ton of fur too. So we got this little one. Oh, it's got a fat belly. And this little one also got a very fat belly going on. Good job, mama. Now this bucket belongs to Pretty Girl. She is our not so good mama. Last time she had five and she didn't feed them. She didn't pull fur or anything. This time she has got lots of fur. And look at all of those little wiggly, little wiggly buns. See if we can get a good count in here. So we are going to bring a lot of this fur out Ooh. so we can get a good count. Look at all these wigglies. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we got 10 in here, guys. But because she has so many compared to Rosie. We're gonna take some out of her bucket, foster them with Nosy Rosie. Look, okay, this is Nosy Rosie's baby. 
This is pretty girls. Much smaller. All right. The baby here. The One. Baby here. The baby here. The baby here. The baby Two. here. Two. There's a baby here. The baby here. Three. The baby here. Here. Four. Uh -oh. That'll give Nosy Rosie six. Whoa. And pretty girl over Whoa. here, six. Mm -hmm. And so we have each of them will have six babies to care for. Good job, Mama. And pretty girl's babies all have very fat bellies. So she is actually feeding them this time. Super wiggly, super precious. They're all, well, yeah, some solid white, some mostly spotted. Okay, so it looks like we have 12 babies total. Two from Nosy Rosie, which is a very small letter for her. And then 10 from Pretty Girl, which is fairly large considering she had five on her first letter. But I'm super excited with it. We did foster four of the babies from Pretty Girl to Nosy Rosie. You can do that when they were very close in age. If you if they're a couple days apart, you don't want to do it because the baby rabbits grow so fast that the bigger ones will steal all the milk and leave the little ones from getting any. So because pretty girls were smaller than Nosy Rosie, we will have to keep a close eye on them and make sure they are getting enough milk, make sure their bellies stay full. So we'll be checking them again tonight and then twice a day for the next few days just to make sure they do okay. But I have no concerns with fostering them to Nosy Rosie. She is a very, very good mom and I don't have any <laughs> any concerns with her at all. Now in two weeks, we will rebreed our does that just had babies and we will show y'all the process of how we breed using a colony setting. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but we do not have a buck in our colony. Some colonies do do that, and that is an option, and you just let them naturally breed. The chance of that is that our rabbits could very well get rebred the same day they have babies, and we wouldn't be able to control that and give them a bit of a break. So instead, we keep the buck separately, and we introduce the does to him when we are ready for them to breed. So we will bring y'all along on our next breeding attempt and show y'all how we do this. Now, these girls right here have about one more month until they come into their breeding rotation. Yeah. Yeah, and then they'll be part of our breeding does. <laughs> That's why we love on them so much. We want them to be used to being handled. We don't want them to be scared of us. We want them to be good and friendly and kind and not attack us when we pick them up. Okay, so I will bring y'all back with me later on so we can check and see how Nosy Rosie is doing as a foster mom and see if she takes the rabbits and they stay well fed. So we'll check on them again tonight. We'll check on them twice tomorrow. And we'll see how that goes. And if they're doing good by then, then I'll have no issues. If for any reason I see any kind of aggression or anything, which would be a rare occurrence, then we would just move them back over into Pretty Girl's bucket. I'm just checking on. Back it up. Back it up. One. <laughs> two. Back it up. Three. Back it up. Four. Back it up. Okay. All right, all six babies are still in Nosy Rosies. All are still nice and whoops, that didn't work. Six babies. <laughs> right, Cover them back up. Okay. And look, they have buried the entrance to their burrows just like they would in the wild. Come on. It was like really cool. This one you can kind of see in. That's Nosy Rosie's job. Pretty girl, on the other hand, has hers packed with dirt. Like it's filled with dirt. <laughs> okay. 
Oh man, rabbits are fun. Say good night, rabbits. Good night, rabbits. Good night, rabbits. Good night. Ooh, I got babies here. Here, I got babies here. Here. Oh, where's some wiggly babies at? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was starting to get a little worried. Yeah. I didn't see any oh, babies. Baby. Hey. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, there they are. Oh, oh my goodness. Look <laughs> how wiggly. Oh. We got six wiggly babies. All of them look very good. They are all extremely, look at their bellies, like super, super big bellies going on, even the runt. So I'm excited. She must have accepted the fostering of those babies. Rabbits are fantastic like that. They just feed the babies. Okay guys, so let's check pretty girls. We've got one baby with a very fat belly. Two babies with a fat belly. Three babies with a fat belly. Four babies with a fat belly. Five babies. Ah, he's covered in fur. Look at the belly on him. Like they're sticking out there with a very fat belly. Ah, and six babies with a fat, fat belly. Oh, that's awesome. Y'all, that is exactly what we want to see. Every single baby was very well rounded in the middles. When you, when you touch their bellies, it feels like a solid, like, water balloon. Like, very, very fat belly. So, that's how you know that your babies are being fed. Last time, they didn't feel like a big, like, full water balloon but you could still fill their bellies like so I don't know last time she just didn't get it figured out very well and pretty girl had nine babies so we couldn't foster it was just a whole mess but this time we've got six in each container each mom is getting to feed six and they are doing a great job so I have high hopes that every single kit in these litters will make it I'm super excited we have some really good mamas going on here but this goes to show you, if your mamas don't do good their first time around, give them a second chance. Pretty girl, I was ready to call her out last time when she let her babies die because she went feeding them, but she just didn't know what was going on. And this second time around, she is blowing it out of the water. Y'all, she's doing so good. I'm so proud of her. So I'm so glad we kept her around. We gave her another chance. Our goal is always three strikes, you're out. She had one strike against her. We were like, okay, second chance, let's try it. And she did great. She did great. I'm so excited. Ain't that right, pretty girl? Did you do good? Are you feeding your babies? Always, always eating. Always eating. Yep, mm-hmm. And y'all, these are the first babies born in our bucket burrow. So I'm so excited. That means they feel safe and comfortable in there. And they completely are happy having their babies in there. The baby's bellies are very round. That means they're being fed. A lot of people questioned if the buckets were big enough for our big Rex rabbits to be able to feed all their babies and everything. And I think people have it in their minds that rabbits are like dogs and cats that lay down to feed their babies, but they're not. So, if all my fingers are babies, the rabbit hovers over the babies like this. And the babies drink like this. And then she goes about her way. She does not normally hang out with them very much, especially in the daytime. You don't see her in there. They're always out running around. That's a defense mechanism. She doesn't want predators to be attracted to her den. So she hangs out away from them so she can draw predators away if she needs to and so they don't find her babies. So she's very quick. Rabbits feed at dawn and dusk when most predators are either retiring for the night or just waking up. So it's got a better safety mechanism going on there. So we never actually see them feed their babies. You don't freak out if you're not seeing your rabbits feed the babies. Just fill their bellies. You want a very full solid like water balloon like it's squishy It's not hard, but it is like full and That lets us know that they are feeding all of these babies Even the runt was able to get up against the bigger ones in nosy Rosie's bucket because her babies are very very large Because she only had two 
and the ruts in there. And I didn't realize that yesterday when I separated them. I was just trying to keep the rabbits, you know, out of the buckets as little time as possible because you don't want them getting cold. And so I was just separating them and grabbing four of them out. And evidently I put a runt in there with the big ones. But it's, it is holding its own. I'm so happy about that. Now while we're in the rabbit colony, I wanted to show y'all what I added. So this corrugated pipe down here we had cut off when we built our temporary driveway. We had a man who come up after our temporary driveway was taken down and a permanent one was put in place and asked if he could buy the large section of this pipe. I think we had like 15 foot section. And then we had this little 5 foot section that was left over. And I thought it would work out great for the rabbits. And y'all, they love it. So it's just over here, out of the way. It's got where it can get wind flow that goes straight through it. Our little friend over there is like checking it out. Let's see if it, anybody's inside. Yep. <laughs> Another little rabbit in there. What you doing? And there she comes out the other side. She is usually always in it now that I've put it in here. She loves it. Alright friends, so I'm super excited about our new meat rabbit babies we have on the ground. 12 very healthy kits. I'm, I'm very excited about that. So we'll breed our girls again in two weeks. And we'll bring y'all along for that journey to show you how we breed our meat rabbits with the colony setting. For now though, friends, we will see y'all next time. Bye.